Alright, in this Photoshop tutorial I'm going to teach you how to Photoshop a person and place them into a nether photo. Um, in this case I have this picture of this businessman and I'm going to go ahead and place him into this uh, garage setting. Now the first step is obviously you need to open up the vo both of the photos that you want to work with. And I have uh, the work cut out pretty easy for me because um, the background is just a solid color. Your background may have scenery in it, uh, and it'll be a lot harder to uh, cut that out. But I'm going to use the magic wand tool in this case. Um, I recommend using the pen tool if you have a busier background. Uh, and uh, there's a great tutorial on my channel um, on how to use the pen tool. So what I did is I already duplicated this layer, so let me go back. You have your original background layer, which is locked when you open it in Photoshop. So I'm just going to duplicate that layer with Control J, where I could have right cl or I could right-click my background layer and go to Duplicate Layer. Uh, make sure you're on the layer one, the one that's not locked. Um, I have my magic wand tool, and I'm going to go ahead and select this uh, white, and I'm going to go ahead and click Delete. And let me hide this background layer. And now. Um, I want to inverse my selection, so the selection is around this businessman. So I'm going to go to Select Inverse, and I'm going to go ahead and cut him with Control X. That will cut him out of the image, and then I'm going to go to this garage image, and I'm going to use Control V. Okay, it's going to give me this. Uh, I'm just going to click OK. And now it made a new layer. I'm going to go ahead and name this Businessman. Okay, now I need to resize my businessman with Control T. Um, make sure you hold the shift key if you want your person to uh, remain with its uniform proportions. If I don't hold the shift key, then he's going to get like a skewed look. So make sure you hold the shift key when you're resizing. And I'm just going to leave him right there. And the next problem you're going to run into more than likely is the lighting is not going to match on your photo. Well, how do I solve that? Let me show you how. Go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, and choose Gradient Map. Um, click OK. And what you're going to do is choose the two most dominant colors in your background image. So I'm going to set the opacity down to zero so I can actually see what I'm working with. And I'm going to actually uh, go up here and edit the gradient map because I'm not going to be using these two colors. So I'm going to click my first color stop and I'm going to pick a color, maybe this blue over here. That's pretty good. And another dominant color would probably be the gray color. So once again, using the eyedropper color, uh, tool, go ahead and click that, OK, OK. And now I'm going to move this opacity back up to 100%. And I'm going to change this uh, blending mode right here to overlay. OK, well, now it's applying to both layers. But I only want to apply to the businessman layer. So when I press the Alt key between these two layers, so holding down the Alt key and click right between there, it's only going to apply to the businessman, which is what I want. And it's a little bit um, too vivid for me, so I'm going to drop the opac opacity down just a little bit. And whatever looks good. So that's a little bit better. Now the lighting um, matches a lot better than it did before, as you can see. And now I'm going to go ahead and go to uh, Image, make sure you're on the Businessman layer, Image, Adjustments, and choose Levels. And I can also mess with some of the levels on there and just adjust it so it matches your photo as best as you can. And then I could go back to the businessman layer and take out some more of this white. So that basically covers how to take a uh, photo from one image and place it onto another.